All right, hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and I'm going to take another look at ModStep Negative Knowledge, and this one is kind of a continuation of the previous video where it started out with a conversation with Fatigue Man over on the Audiobus forum, and this one, this time I'm going to look at the song mode or how you can get a song mode. Now, it, ModStep don't tr have the traditional song mode that we're kind of used to, to where you take your sections and drag it to different places and order it how you want to and then you can export the song this has more of a kind of a top-down approach or in this or more of a live uh, situation and so if you if you want to do it more live then you can hit the um, record button down here and you can hit the record up top and then you can just play this live trigger whatever you want to and it's going to just sum everything up into a single track I haven't played with as far as if it will sum up different, I think it will sum up different tracks and the master. And so you can kind of individually export different tracks as you record it. Um, but if you're wanting to get kind of like a <coughs> more of a standard kind of song mode, then you can do that. Um, so if you click and hold, you get these options on the clips or patterns. Or these are clips, and then these each clip can have 16 patterns. We see this number of loops. You can change that from the double zero, which is infinite, to one, two, up to... I'm not sure if it has a max value. But you can do a lot of loops. Um, and so what that's going to do is if you move this to one loop, and I hit play, it's going to go through this little sequence one time. It's four bars, or four patterns. And then it's going to stop. In my mind, I would assume that it would just jump down to the next one because I only wanted it to play once and then have it sequence through. That's not how this works. <clears throat> but you can get it to do that if you go over here to this side and you click and hold. See, right now its number of loops is infinite. And so if I click this... It's going to play, and you can see the playhead going down. It's going to play through that sequence infinite amount of times. And then when I click on the next group, um, it'll play through that an infinite amount of times. But say I want this first part as a kind of an intro, and I want it to play one time, and I want it to jump to the verse... And I want it to play through the verse um, four times. Then if I I could get that set up, and now you can see at the little top it says one times four, and then four times four. Um, and that's pretty much one times four patterns, and so it's going to do the length of four patterns. And this one's going to do four times four patterns because these over here are four patterns. Now if I was to set this to something other than <clears throat> infinite like if I set it to two then this is going to play these two patterns or it's going to play these four patterns twice and so resulting in this would play four times eight patterns so this would go through a lot more times but whenever you click on that it's going to play through this sequence And then it'll play through this four times and you can see the playhead going down and it'll count down each time so we'll watch it until it gets to three and then it'll cycle back through and so now it's on three and it'll keep cycling like that um, let's take this back off to infinite so it'll only play um, the four times <clears throat> And then the next one it'll play until it gets to a blank set of um, scenes and then it'll stop. And so that's kind of how you could set up your own song mode is you could set up a verse, chorus, bridge, you know, intro verse, chorus, bridge, you know, the kind of the basic song or however you want it. <coughs> Have it cycle through. You could just, depending on how you want to export it or how you want to record the sounds, you can record the individual and the master or just the, sum up the master. 
and then hit the record button, press play, it'll cycle all the way through. When it gets to the end, it'll stop. And then it should show up down here under the audio recordings, under whatever your session is called. Um, so let's go ahead and let's just do that. Um, right now, let's do edit. Let's just delete that out. That way it'll play those two and stop. So we can kind of test what that was doing. So let's, let's just select everything. Um, and then we'll hit record. And then we'll... Let's just stop. Let's go from the top. Oops, I'm on the... All right, so... Let's stop. Okay, so it's gonna play through that sequence once. And it'll play through this sequence <coughs> four times. I should have selected something other than four. But it's only a couple more times. And we'll, you can watch the playhead go. And then once it gets to the end, it'll stop. And then what we can do, as you, you can see up here at the top, it'll show you how much time has passed and how much it's recording. And then once it gets done, it'll stop. And we will see what kind of how many audio files we got okay so we can stop now we can go to this little icon at the top which brings up kind of the session browser kind of okay so if I go back out there's new song 23 and this is at 2252 <clears throat> and as you can see you have a master Ooh, and it closed out the program maybe a little bug not for sure But anyway, so we can go back here, and you can see that we have the three tracks, and the audio for the tracks, and then we have a master. Okay, it's not going to play within the browser, but you do have the option to export it to AudioShare. Um, I can click, I can as export here. Copy it in the audio share, importing audio, and now that recorded absolutely nothing. That's not what I imported, is it? Would it have been new song? <clears throat> Master.wave. I guess this is as close to live as you'll get. So that's not playing at all. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I'll have to go back to the drawing board on that because that should technically work. Let me copy it to. Let me copy it to sampler. And let's see. Let's browse instruments. Internal. Sampler. Let's drag a little sampler down. Back to stock. Sample. Imported. Master. Oh, all right. So we have some issues there. In theory, it should work. I'm not for sure what the problem is. I will definitely. Um, I'll still post this video, but I will definitely send a link to the, make sure I link this to the developer and make sure that he is aware of this. Maybe it could be something to do with the <coughs> apps that I had loaded up. Maybe it didn't like the interrupt audio. Um, that one didn't work either, did it? No. And if it's not working there probably not going to work with sampler let's try one more it's gonna it's gonna be a bugger yep okay that's what i thought all right anyways um that's kind of how you could now the option you could do with this is you could set up some chains and route everything 
all the outputs into um, <clears throat> audio bus or AUM record it that way and you maybe have a little better mixing but anyway thanks for watching hopefully this help shed some light on how you could potentially use mod step in a song mode um, and I will uh, talk to you guys later